Hello students. Today I will show you how to create a new company by using of any old company. Are you confused? Because this is a new option for you. Let discuss on it. After create a new company, what you have to do? You have to create system ledger then you can use it for transaction today i will show you how to create a company you know how to create a company but this is a new lesson for you that how to import after create a new company how to import ledgers from any other existing company so let's start at first create a new company from account then preference sorry from account click new for new company this is your old company dfs batch s2 now create a new company account then click new okay then type any initial suppose DFS 3 ok name of the account DFS is to new you can fill any address state with Bengal select it yes click on blank account for advanced user install air AP yes and save so this is the process how to create company you know how to create company now i'll show you how to import ledgers from any existing company click alpha numeric the both options then save and close congratulations click ok and close it cancel it Okay, these are old company DFS batch S2 and DFS S2 new. It is our new company. Click the new company. Open the new company. This is new company. There are no general ledgers. Blank. There is no general ledger codes entered so far. Now, you have to create system ledgers? No. Now, you can import system ledgers from any existing company how to import from masters then copy codes from another company click on it then double click on ledger double click on ledger and move the scroll bar downward and double click on system control mapping I will show again the first option from this left side list double click on first option use the mouse click double I mean double click don't click single use double click okay double click on a laser move downwards and double click on system control mapping okay now select the existing company this is our old company mean existing company we want to import the ledgers from this old company select it then click ok this is the list now we can import the ledgers but which ledgers system ledgers means starting from b1 to b6 and p1 to p6 first select b1 to b6 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 B 0 6 ok now move the scroll bar downwards now select profit loss ledgers P 0 1 2 P 0 6 ok done then click ok now check it masters chart of account general ledger click banner icon all system ledgers are here 
now what is the next option click account then preference then system controls just check it just check it at first check the ledger after importing this at first check the ledgers yes then also check the system control mapping from account preference and system control okay click pl and cash book yes system control mapping is done for it stock yes sales yes purchase okay system control mapping is done automatically because at the time of importing this ledger you select two options ledger and system control mapping so ledgers i mean the system ledgers and the system control mapping both are import from old company to new company this is the process okay now the new topic create creators and debtors with invoice with previous due invoice i mean invoice mill bill okay this is creditors and this is old due bill mean it is credit purchasable for this is creditor so it is credit purchasable number like philips india credit purchase bill number due bill number is this okay and this is debtors how to create it at first go to masters then vendors and customers select vendor at first for creditor select vendor masters vendor and customer sorry masters vendor customer and vendor okay click add then type the code v1 is the code okay then type the creditor's name bajaj india limited okay then select general ledger from here then select this is vendor so select trade creditors okay save then v2 put the uh, next data, uh, vendor name means the creditor name it is philips india limited select general ledger same ledger sunday creditors for vendor okay sorry click close it okay trade creditors then save press escape two times to close it then the debtors i mean the suppliers then masters vendor customer and select customer click add code is c1 yes it is c1 then the num name is varath debtors okay Varad traders, okay. Now is the tab and select general ledger from here. It is debtors. This is customer, so select trade debtors. Click save. Now the next C2. The name is the next name is classic electronics. now select general ledger list trade debtors now select trade debtors from the general ledger list okay save now now the opening balance opening balance with invoice number for this vendor and customer at first vendor master opening balance then vendors master opening balance vendors you know how to put opening balance here but today we have previous bill so we have to use this invoice not the consolidated this is without bill only opening balance here if you have previous bill details then click invoice we have to put the previous bill details if you have then click add the invoice number 
space PC1. It is, yes, it is PC1. And this is previous bill date, previous invoice date. Put here. Due date, leave it. The net amount. Net amount is 50,000. Put the same amount. Okay. Then save. Okay. Save. Then use escape a single time. Then select Philips India, the next vendor. Invoice is already invoice tab is already selected. Click add. T C sorry T C two. The build date is 25, 25, 12, 07. Amount, net amount is 15,000. Same amount in both boxes. Okay. Now, save it. Now, now what? Now, customer, use escape two times. Okay. Now, now from masters, opening balances, then customer, masters, opening balance, customer. Same process. Select the customer name and go to invoice because you have the previous bill number. So, you have to put the details. You have to put the previous bill details. Click add. Invoice number is TD1. And the date is 15 December. Okay. Amount is same process 40,000. Same amount. Okay. Now save it. Use escape a single time. Then select next customer name. Invoice mode is already selected. Then click add and put the next will district to next will number and build it is. 28 December 07 this is previous year bill details do you will 13,000 is the amount this is the process ok students so this is the process how to put opening balances with previous due bill details for debtors and creditors for vendor and suppliers okay so today's class is over